and welcome back to Ozarks Live to our on location live show here at the Stompin' Grounds in Lamar, Missouri. Now this next guy that's here with us, you're going to want to know all about him because he is the man behind the country jam happening this fall. Say hello to Donnie Frizzell. Donnie, thanks so much for being here. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Thank you all for coming <laughs> out here and enjoying this heat and this great weather we that's have in right. Lamar. That's right. That's right. Well, you know, you know, the thing that we want to let people know, this is local boy has made good is what's <laughs> happened. That's right. I grew up just down in Baxter County, so <laughs> this is my neck of the woods, so I like it coming back home. This is a good feeling. Yeah, for sure. Now, as I said, you are the man behind this year's Country Jam, so tell people what exactly this is. Well, uh, Country Jam is the, the added on feature of what the Johnson family's wanted to do out here with the stomping grounds. You know, they've had the, they've got the monster trucks out here this weekend, and then the PBR shoot event in August, and this is the next component added on to it. So it's going to be uh, a bigger than just a concert. We're bringing in five great guys to make it an all-day event and show people what it's like in Lamar, Missouri, and at the stomping grounds. Yeah. yeah I, 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 I want to get you know some of your background too because I, I hate to use the word since we just kind of got rid of it with PBR, but this ain't your first rodeo when it comes to <laughs> events. No, no, it's not my first rodeo. As a matter of fact, I started out with the group Black Oak, Arkansas. Yes. You know, in back in 1976 and 77, mm -hmm. and then we went on to manage Crocus, the group Crocus, for many, many years, and then I went into Little Rock, Arkansas, and opened up the amphitheater in downtown Little Rock in the early 90s. Wow. Uh, so it's been something. I did the first show at the Walton Arts Center uh, in. Fayetteville, and I'm going to do the first show out here with the Johnson family at Stomping You've Grounds. done Eagles tours. Eagles. You, I mean, Janet so you, Jackson, Janet Jackson, Jackson Brown. Wow. Kiss. I do a lot of Kiss stuff. Yeah, you have worked with top names, so you yeah. know how to get a show together, in other words. <laughs> yes, and we we did. the Whenever David Johnson came to me this past year, he said, we want to do a show. Let's do something for the local area that fits the local area. And so we came out here to curate something for the first year to get everybody's feet wet the Stomping Grounds, mm -hmm. and then set it up for the next years to come. Yeah, which I think is super now, speaking of getting a show together, I'm curious. I look at this space and I'm like, how is a concert going to happen here? So give me what the setup is going to kind of look like. Well, how, the, how they made the arrangement out here with this being a multi-purpose venue, basically to where you can turn everything into what you want to. And that's what the Johnson family is able to do. Yeah. Figure it to whether it's tractor pulls, monster truck, or concert. This is going to be the back of the stage. Okay. Right here. So the stage will be here. You'll have seats out there, general admission, the grandstands. It'll all be full. You'll have concessionaires from your favorite beverage to your T-shirt to send uh, Miss Missouri. Okay, yeah. well, very cool. <laughs> you know, we're talking about the grandstands, but of course, if the stage is here, that means there's going to be a lot of room for people to roam and have a good time. Yeah, we have configured this to where it's anywhere between six and 7,000 people is what wow. we look at doing. And uh, we feel that's a good mark to start here. And yeah. if it goes bigger, this place can grow even bigger, and that's the beautiful about it. If not, it'll sell out. Yeah, for you, sure. You, you want to drop a few names that are going to be at the jam? We, yes, sir. We're going to bring in uh, one of our good buddies, Chris Cagle. Uh, Chris Cagle hasn't been on the road for the last six years. Yeah. He's been out kicking butt again out of retirement. This is his first stop in this part of the country, and he's going to bring it. Uh, Easton Corbin. Easton Corbin's going to bring it, too. He uh, loves the area, from the area, wanted to jump on the wagon, and so he's part of the wagon. We've got a guy, a gentleman, uh, Matt uh, Stell, who actually went to Drury, yeah. uh, Springfield boy, and so he's done good. I've watched him from the songwriting sessions. These are Jimmy. some up and comers. Yeah. They're, like, they're going to be Some names to watch for, absolutely. They're going to yeah. be big, and then we've got another that was uh, actually brought to my attention through the Johnson, but Brian Martin. Brian Martin's coming in, and his uh, he, the guys behind him are Jason Aldean's group. Okay. Lord George Lines people, how controversial. You want to be with that? You yeah. can be, but bottom line is it's power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. So again, tell Tell us when this is all going to happen. Saturday, October 7th is when it will be, is the actual show date. Uh -huh. uh, gates open at 3 o'clock. We're going to start music around 5, end around 11, 15, 11, 30, not too late. Um, you can get your tickets at stompinggrounds.com. Okay. Uh, get your agenda. We've priced them in five different categories for people to fit every need. Yeah. Uh, get your tickets, your jo your lawn tickets and GA tickets before they go up. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. This, yeah. this is this is going to be this a big deal neat. coming yeah. to Lamar, yeah. of course. I also want to mention really fast. So actually, you helped me set up. I spoke with Chris Cagle this morning. So we're going to hear from him in a few minutes and what people can expect from him out here this fall, which is super exciting. But what do you love about Chris? I love Cagle being direct, man. That's <laughs> all the dude. The 
chicks dig him. That's all that I care about right now. No, he's a fun, get in your face guy. He's the closest thing to Garth Brooks as far as a performer like all that. All right, that's a good that's a great tease. Yeah, it really is. And I mean, he's like one of us. He's a fun guy. He brings it. And whether you're an El Dorado or whether your chicks digging it or whether you're uh, breathe in, breathe out, like I told him this yeah, morning, yeah, breathe yeah. in, sure. breathe out. Yeah, it's gonna fit. Donnie, Thank you, Donnie. Thanks for stopping by and talking yeah. with us. <laughs> hey, we're going to be back with more in just a little bit, including a monster truck <laughs> jump. Don't go away.